Over the last couple of days, if you can all remember, Jamie Markey posted a tweet which, let's just say, it didn't go down well. And you've had tons of people coming out defending her, saying it was a joke, the tweet was taken out of context, you know, why are you all doing this, you hate her, you hate women, blah, blah, blah. Well, over the last 24 to 36 hours, I have been receiving DMs, comments on my videos, and I've also been speaking to quite a few people on Twitter regarding this tweet, and some of the people who are defending Jamie Markey. Well... With this Jamie Markey tweet, it's something that should never have been said in the first place. Even if it is a joke and she's saying it's a joke, it's satire, it's this, it's that. It should never have been said in the first place because these kind of tweets are get people in trouble. And this just goes to show that it's gotten her in a lot of hot water. Someone posted a tweet of a screenshot of a Japanese voice actor and Jamie Markey, and the two tweets about what's different between the two. The actual tweet read, this is the difference between Japanese voice actor and an American voice actor. The Japanese voice actor had doing audio cassettes for hospitals and for kids and to go out to people, and the other one was Jamie Markey saying kids should go back to school so people can buy more bang bangs and kids can pass away. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like it. That tweet had over 9,500 likes as of that time. I believe it's sitting over something like 10,000 tweets now because that just goes to show how many people do not like that tweet and how, they, how everyone thinks that tweet was wrong, which it is. But the people who are coming out and defending Jimmy Markey, these people, well, to me anyway... I've never seen or interacted with these people before. I've had a lot of comments on my, say, my YouTube videos, most of the video regarding her and the tweet she said saying, I bet you hate women, why are you doing this? All you do is make hate videos against this person. And I'm like, wow, okay, so people are defending what she's saying, which is fair enough because obviously they all think Jamie Markey is their queen. Well... Over the last 12 or so hours, Exile has been sending me little snippets of a conversation him and many other people are having with the, these group of people. And let's just say these people who are defending Jamie Markey, either they really don't understand what this tweet means or they're literally believing everything that comes out of Jamie Markey's mouth. I say that because a lot of these people, back in 2018... A few of these, they actually showed their disgust against James Gunn and a few tweets that James Gunn put out, which got him fired. Even though he was rehired, he was fired from Disney and Marvel in 2018. A couple of months later, he was rehired. But these people are now defending what James Gunn said back then. This is all, They're only defending what he said back then because they're saying, oh, he thought he had to be like that because that's what his career was. First of all, his career wasn't like that back then. When he sent those tweets, his career was actually thriving. He'd done Dawn of the Dead, he'd done the Scooby-Doo movies, he'd done Slither. He'd done quite a good lot of work. And when you get people who are defending the person that they had a go at because of certain things that they said nearly a decade ago, all of a sudden, when you see that they're now defending Jamie Markey because they know that she's in the same situation that he was. And it's just like, right, OK, now we know. And when these people come out and they actually say, it's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. Well, if you are to come out and defend a joke, it's not a joke. It's not what it, it wasn't meant to be classed as a joke. She knew exactly what she was doing. And she's actually come out herself and said it was satire. And it's like, no, it wasn't. Even if it was satire, if you think that's what satire is, then you need to not say it. Did you actually think that was a good thing to put out there? Did you even think, yeah, this is good. I'm going to send this out into the world where there is literally thousands of people who dislike her already. And obviously she's probably thinking, oh, this will get more eyes on me. 
any publicity is good publicity. That's what they say. And these people who are now defending her and saying, oh, she was saying this, she was saying that, they've started trying to push all the eyes that are on Jamie Markey in this tweet onto other people. And the funniest thing is, these people, they're trying to push all the attention onto VM. VM has nothing to do with this whole situation. This situation is about somebody on Twitter who thought it was a good idea to post a tweet saying kids should go back to school so this can happen. That is what we're talking about. We are not talking about VM. He has nothing to do with this. But that just goes to show what type of people they really are. Because the people who are now saying, oh, you only don't like her because of VM. And they try and incorporate VM into any sentence they can, into any argument against people who are going against Jamie Markey. And there's a lot of people reporting on this tweet who are not a part of the VM situation. They haven't reported on the VM situation. And all they've seen is this tweet from a voice actor in America who has said a really nasty tweet. That's it. That's what these people are actually reporting on. And they don't like it because they're like, oh my God, people are actually taking notice of what she's saying. And again, she's out there now. And to be honest with you, we know what type of person Jamie Markey is. She is a narcissist. We know this. She doesn't care about anyone but herself. And all these people who are out there defending her, the ones who are now saying Oh, James Gunn was mistaken. You know, we, oh yeah, you know what he done back then because he thought he needed to do it. They're just showing how hypocritical they are. And again, these people they hate the type of people that they are. That's why they try and deflect. That's why they try and put all their emotions, even though what they're pretending to actually think is okay is not. And with Jimmy Markey. She not she doesn't even care about these people. The ones who are defending her, the ones who are going out of their ways, which are literally they're making themselves look stupid. They don't know, or they don't even think that Jamie Markey cares about them. They're like, oh no, no, she does. She thanks us. How? Is she sending you any free stuff? No. You're still spending fifty dollars on autographs and everything else that she sells. So, to be honest with you, if you thanked your fans or you wanted to thank people who were literally sticking their necks out on the line for someone, you'd want to do something to help them. But no, she doesn't do that because she does not care about them. Simple as. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you wonderful people soon.